20. Argument from Ignorance, Argumentum ad Ignorantium. Hello, and welcome back. Today, we're examining a logical fallacy called the argument from ignorance, or argumentum ad ignorantium. This fallacy occurs when someone claims that something must be true, or false, simply because it hasn't been proven otherwise. In other words, a lack of evidence is wrongly treated as evidence. The argument from ignorance fallacy happens when the absence of evidence is used to justify a conclusion. It assumes that if something cannot be proven false, it must be true, and vice versa. However, a lack of evidence does not constitute proof in either direction. Example. No one has proven that extraterrestrial life doesn't exist, so aliens must be real. Just because there's no evidence disproving extraterrestrial life doesn't mean it exists. The lack of proof one way or the other cannot serve as evidence for a conclusion. Comparison, argument from ignorance versus burden of proof. While both involve evidence, or lack thereof, they differ in focus. Argument from ignorance uses a lack of evidence as proof of a claim. Example, no one can prove ghosts aren't real, so they must exist. Burden of proof involves determining who is responsible for providing evidence. Example, you claim ghosts are real, so the burden of proof is on you to provide evidence. The burden of proof requires the person making the claim to substantiate it, while the argument from ignorance wrongly treats absence of evidence as conclusive. Another example. There's no evidence that this new medication causes harm, so it must be safe. The absence of evidence doesn't guarantee safety. The medication might simply not have been studied enough to determine its effects. Why it's misleading. The argument from ignorance fallacy exploits gaps in knowledge to justify conclusions, but a lack of evidence is not evidence itself. Something can be unproven without being true or false. Jumping to conclusions based on ignorance can lead to misinformation or unsupported beliefs. How to avoid argument from ignorance. 1. Demand positive evidence. Evaluate claims based on what is known, not what is unknown. 2. Recognize uncertainty. Understand that a lack of evidence often means we simply don't know yet. 3. Shift the burden of proof. Remember that the person making the claim must provide evidence to support it. Conclusion The argument from ignorance fallacy occurs when a lack of evidence is treated as proof. By recognizing this error and demanding solid evidence, we can avoid making conclusions that rely on ignorance rather than reason. In many cases, the most honest answer is simply, we don't know yet.